right, so this one is done. I'm 34 weeks and five days. They're so pretty. What's up, y'all? My name is Chase, and welcome back to another video. So today is the 4th of July, and I'm starting this vlog off on a Tuesday. Yesterday, I was not feeling too good. Um, it's not like a cough and cold type of sickness, more so of like an overall body sickness, and I just needed to lay down for the majority of the day. I ended up feeling much better like at nighttime, and we also laid on the couch too. So it's like we just, you know, chill for the rest of the night and kind of stayed up so we feel really well rested and i feel really relaxed right now i do have to tidy up in just a bit um and then i'm gonna go and get my target order because i ordered some ice cream and some pop to drink for today we're gonna go out later on tonight to see some fireworks with lyric because she's excited about that and then we are also going to probably make some chicken tacos or shrimp tacos later on but for the most part it's gonna be a real chill day today i made a toast and egg breakfast just a piece of toast jelly and then like a sunny side up egg on top and then i'm gonna go and get my target order come back tidy up and then i also want to do like a little bit of self-care today i want to get myself like a little facial mask also get myself like a mini like a mini pedicure you know just to relax and unwind and just chill so it's gonna be a really chill day today we're not gonna go out and travel, you know, do all of that stuff, go up in nobody's house, anything. We're just gonna stay at home and then watch the fireworks that people pop over here in the neighborhood. Y'all, it's so hot and nasty out here. I wanted to go to a nature trail, but the weather right now is 86 with a high of 90. And the air is like really sticky and it's all, it's like nasty feeling. It's not like a cool breeze or anything. It's just really hot and sticky outside. So I'd rather just stay in the house. And I know I was not supposed to be drinking no pop, but I got the Dr. Pepper cream soda and it just settles my cravings. I used to be a really big root beer fan. I love root beer so much, but I feel like root beer is just a little too sweet now for whatever reason. I feel like everything is just a little too sweet for me now. But Dr. Pepper with the cream soda version, the cream soda version of Dr. Pepper is really good. And then the ice creams I got was the Hagen dazs Butter Pecan and the Hagen dazs Dos de Leche, if I'm pronouncing that right. They just satisfy my cravings. I have like a sugar rush sometimes that I just feel like I need to satisfy and they just satisfy the cravings.
okay so i just finished tidying up real quick i didn't wipe my kitchen counters down just yet because i am going to pot some of the plants i've been growing in the water i have some old jars saved from some bath and body works candles that i just saved because i like the colors or the decoration outside of it when i would use my candles up and it's just like a little wax at the bottom i will pour hot water in it i'll let all the wax flow to the top let it cool down and then keep that little bit for a wax melt so i'm just going to repot all of the little plants i'm going to try and repot two in one jar and see how that works because i'm there like they already have roots now so it's time for them to get like in some soil I don't have any newspapers, so I'm going. I don't have any newspaper, so I'm going to use this Amazon bag. So, this is one of the jars that I saved from Bath and Body Works. It says "Bright Christmas Morning." It smelled really good, and then I I like Christmas. Christmas is one of my favorite holidays, so I really like the jar, and I, it's just sitting around the house. So I'm like, let me just reuse this as a plant pot. Then I just have this blue jar from one of the candles. It was Midnight Something as the name. I can't think of it right now. But this blue is really pretty. So these already have some roots. One of them looks like it's dying. It's yellow. I'm going to show y'all in just a second. These are all three that I've started. They all have roots. And they're ready to be planted i don't have any other um pots right now because i want to actually go in the store and look for some pots instead of order them offline but i might just order them offline see how that that root right there it's time for a pot and this one right here it's time for a pot now this one like her leaves are pretty yellow and this one was like in the water as well i don't know i might i don't know I don't think she's dying, but because it's also one growing up here too. So I just, I just think that the leaves are falling off, you know, how plants do. Some leaves are going to grow, some are going to fall off. That's just how it is. And she also has a root right here as well. So let me see. I think I might repot... I might put this one in here. Yeah, I might put this one in here. Maybe these two together. These two together. And then this one. And this one. I gotta see. I gotta see. Hey mom, Hello. I'm gonna repot my little plants. So can I, are these too small to repot these two in? Let me see the roots. Okay, this one of them. And then this is the jar I wanted to put it in. Too small? Okay, should I, can I put two in here or just one? You sure? Yeah, you can put two. Okay, so look, this one of them with the root. And See, then... Um, no. I had wanted to just reuse these because I had... Think, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So then, this is another one. This is her root. Okay, okay. And I'll just put her in here by herself. Just put them in there by themselves. Just sit down and let me see. Okay. Now, sit her in the jar let me see. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, uh -huh. Okay, and then for yeah. her right here, this is how she gonna look. Yeah, uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, okay, but don't put two in here. You can't. I can't. Okay, so look, this is the yeah. other one. This her roots right here. Okay. So sh should I should I put her with her right here? 
Yeah, I put it like that right there. Okay, and then this is the one I was telling you about where it's turning a little, a little yellow, but it's also growing at the top right there. So I should put her in here with her? Yeah, put that in there. I take them brown leaves off. Okay, cut them off. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so, so. Man, light. Okay, I'll cut those two little pieces off. So these has looking. This is, yeah, this got. Be more. Okay, okay, mom. Thank you. Okay, well, I love y'all. I love you too, mom. Yeah. Okay, so we've come to the decision on how to set them. These two are going to go together with their roots. And then these two are going to go together. I am going to, I'm going to keep this water that's in here too. Because this is good plant water. They've been sitting in it. Um, whenever I use any like fossil water, I let it sit out for like 24 hours. But this is good water to actually keep. I'm gonna put it in like one of the big empty um jars. I mean jugs I got over there, and keep it up under the sink just so I can have some water for the plants. Actually, I have. I completely forgot about this one. Okay, so I actually have another pot. I'm gonna put one of them in. I'll probably put two, two is four, so two, one, and one. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not even using the um, thing I said I was gonna use. Let me sit y'all to the side real quick. All right, we're gonna start with the blue. We gotta put some soil at the bottom first, and then, Put them in the middle. Can I have water? Yeah, get it out the fridge, sweetie. Oh. You did. Mommy? Yeah, sweetie. I, I, I have some leftover water I didn't finish. Okay, is it cool? Is it cold? Yes, yeah, cold. Like, there's a few more left. I probably need to finish the water. Alright, sweetheart. Just come and get it. Okay, so she's potted. Got the soil, I'll put a little soil at the bottom, put them in the middle, and then put some more soil at the top so I can cover all of the root. This is gonna be this is really pretty actually. And then this is temporary because they're gonna get, end up getting bigger and bigger. So just for right now, I want to get them up out them jars and just put them in something, you know, uh like a temporary home for now until I found something else. I'm trying to make sure I got the root as far in the soil as possible so it doesn't be sticking up at all. Just want to make sure I got it completely covered. I'm shutting shit down at the mall. I'm telling nigga she did one for me. I am home. Alright, so this one is done. So these are her little little leaves sticking out put her right there all right and i'm just gonna combine these two but i have to cut off these yellow leaves first and make sure you always cutting at an angle you never want to cut oh well she popped right off so never mind make sure i always cutting the angle though so i cut them off and she has two new buds growing up here, so she's not, it's not dead. It was just those two little yellow leaves, but it's a little bud right there and another little bud right there. Okay, so this is the last one I combined uh these two with this one over here 
well these three one two three and then this one on the side right here and again this is just temporary because they're gonna end up, they're gonna end up getting bigger but I wanted to replant them and get them about that water Look down there, baby. fireworks over here until about like 11 30 12 o'clock um so i'm like yeah it's too noisy for some self-care i'm gonna just wait till the morning time just do it right when i wake up get freshened up take a shower you know relax for the rest of the day lyric is still asleep um she stayed up late last night she's actually been staying up later than usual so she's been sleeping in till about maybe 11 12 o'clock which is good we'll get all your rest honey okay we'll get all your rest it took me a minute to get up this morning i was really tired because i also stayed up just a little late um and it took me about an hour and 45 minutes to shake the tire filling but I just prepare a little bit of coffee. I gotta put my crema in there and then I'm gonna make some breakfast. I have to set Lyric's breakfast out because she loves French toast sticks. So I'm making some French toast sticks and like some sausage. And then I'm gonna eat some toast, egg, and bacon. I keep my bacon in the freezer so I have to go and get that and set that out right now. So it can unthaw. Okay, I'm back. So I like a lot of fat on my bacon. And the bacon that I got from Aldi's is the perfect bacon for me. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all when I cook it or whatever, but um, I like a lot of fat on my bacon. So whatever brand I picked was like the first time that I ever tried that and it's so good. So I'm gonna just get my bacon from Aldi's. But nonetheless, y'all, I'm gonna just do a little bit of self-care this morning. I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth. Um, I'm going to get in the shower and then I want to do like a little facial mask. Later on this week, I'll probably just do the pedicure, the pins, because it's like 
I just I just learned to take my time with things and not rush it. For instance, I still have to clean um, my shoe area in the bedroom. I gotta get rid of some shoes because it's just like too many boxes. And then just you know just make space for more stuff, stuff that I'm gonna actually use, not have sitting in the corner of the room. And here is my belly. Wait, thirty-five weeks. Yeah, I'm thirty-five weeks and no, I'm thirty-four weeks and five days. So I'll be thirty-five weeks exactly on Friday. This is my belly. She's growing. Cause I literally feel her on the sides right here. And when she turns around, I'm like, oh my goodness. Are you trying to come out the stomach? I mean, man, but I can feel her on the sides and whatnot. Lyric would stay in my rib cage up here. I don't know if it was a foot, a toe, a hand or a finger, but it was one of those, it was either a hand or a foot and it would be in my rib cage. But this baby stays on my side. She stays on the side. Attached to the side. Like one side at a time. And I'm like, girl, can you at least give me a little bit of space, please? Just a little bit of space. And then if I lay a certain way, I'll feel her. They say she's facing head down, but I'm just wondering um, how that is. I know they can still move in your belly, but it's like... Okay, she's head down, but is she also moving with her head is to the side and then going back head down? I just wonder how that works. But I'm just really curious as to how sometimes they looks like they're, you know, they're facing head down position. Or maybe she's head down, but she's able to like move the rest of her body like side to side, but the head is still down where, where it should be. That's what I'm thinking. We are really excited to meet her. Lyric is really excited to be a big sister. And I'm excited for her. I feel like with every pregnancy, I learned a lot with Lyric, and I'm not just talking about, about the body, I'm talking about mentally, mental stability when it comes to taking care of yourself, also raising your kids. Um, and I feel like I learned a lot with this pregnancy as well. And I'm just, I'm grateful. I really am. I'm grateful for my journey. I'm grateful to be able to actually carry, you know, my beautiful baby girl. I'm just excited. I am a little paranoid, though, because it's like, you know, time is winding down now. I'm literally about to be five weeks away in two days. Today is Wednesday. So Friday, I make 35 weeks. And you know you can eat, you can go into labor. Um, they consider full term maybe 38, 39 weeks, I believe. But it's like it's winding now, and I'm a little paranoid. But I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm keeping my. Uh, I'm keeping a level head. I'm not even trying to let that stress me, worry me out, because it's coming down to crunch time. But it's I can't shake the fact that I am kind of like paranoid with giving birth again, because it's been six years so it's like girl but i'm putting nothing but good intentions on this birth and my postpartum journey i feel like once you speak things to existence and you believe it it's it's going to happen exactly how you want it to be if you think and stress out if you think negative and you stress out about something then that's gonna be your reality but if you think a different way and train your mind to think positive it's gonna all work out how you want it to work out Okay, I need a hair bow so I put my hair up so I can wash my face. I haven't switched up and used any new skincare products so far. I'm still using the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser and then um, I'm following up with the moisturizer in the morning time and then like the nighttime, the renewing night cream at night. Um, I'm either washing my face with that or if not, I am just uh, using a really warm towel. Um, because I feel like I, if I add anything different, I'm going to start breaking out. Like I told you, I used to use a brightening toner and like a brightening serum. 
and I feel like I used that one day and my face completely broke out so I'm not even gonna fool with that stuff right now I'm gonna just keep the basics up um, and especially while pregnant you know hormones and things of that nature so I'm just I've just been keeping it real basic and following my normal skincare routine with either the foam and facial wash or just like a really warm towel and then putting lotion on my face but I haven't been doing too much at all eventually I would like to try out some new skincare um nothing too deep though I'm not really into using a lot of toners a lot of serums and stuff I feel like you know one is good enough every once in a while because I know you're supposed to do a mask you know several toners several, that's what they claim you're supposed to do like several different toners several different masks and stuff and i'm like yeah i'm not i'm not doing all that i'm not doing all that a good face wash a toner and a moisturizer is honestly all that i'll be doing man you know serums here and there though i don't feel like you need a ton of serums to be honest with you I just feel like that's just too much for me to do when it comes to a skincare routine is adding all these different products and I feel like once you're adding a ton of products you end up um, causing your skin to break out too because it's like I don't think our face really needs all of that honestly I know a lot of people got you know they're probably battling dark marks and stuff or something that like they have a problem area that they want to get rid of and they're trying to target that problem area with the products that they're using but i feel like um at the end of the day it's all diet with how your skin turns out of course there are other factors but i do feel like diet plays a major role in the body because there's a reason for like certain breakouts in certain areas on your face and even on your body too but mainly on your face there's a reason for certain breakouts and you know you have to tackle those issues within with diet so i have really sensitive skin and i was using the aztec indian healing clay and it's supposed to be really really good it really is but i think it's just too strong and it's too harsh for my skin because the last time i used it i ended up breaking out y'all again the whole face turned red so i'm like i think it's just the formula is a little too strong because i kept trying it out and I got the same exact results. My skin was getting red. Um, so right now I'm using Moroccan Moroccan red clay powder as a mask. This is good for sensitive skin. Um, so I'm gonna just stick with what I know and just use the Moroccan one. It's like I, I still wanted to um, use the aztec healing clay you know i had high hopes for it because i know it's really good i've used it before and it was like successful but it's like as i continue to use it i wasn't overdoing it either but as i continue to use it, my skin starts to break out i started to get a little red so i'm like i'm not gonna use that no more so when i had discovered this one right here um it didn't break me out of anything and my skin felt you know fresh right after the mask so i'm like i'm gonna just continue to do this one since it's really helping my skin. So I'll just take a little bit, put in my little face mask bowl, add just a little bit of water and then mix it up together. And then if I need more, I'll just, you know, add more powder, more water. I broke my little applicator that I had, the little brush to put it on your face. So I'm just using my fingers. And I also want to mention, that's what I had to realize that my skin it's really sensitive so it's like I can't be using a ton of different products on my skin um, because I'm going to end up breaking out in certain areas like little bitty bumps here and there 
And you know those small bumps, they hurt the most. They really do. And I just I just don't have time for that no more for real. I feel like my problem areas would be my chin and maybe the blackheads on my nose that I get sometimes. I feel like my nose isn't as bad as my chin. I feel like I've struggled with chin acne for a very long time and I've looked it up and it says that it is hormonal. Um, but I also feel like it may be because I eat a lot of dairy too. Because I stopped eating dairy at one point and then it actually cleared up but I'm still eating dairy now okay so I just put the mask on I'm gonna go in and start my breakfast and then in 30 minutes I'm gonna rinse it off hey Siri start a timer for 30 minutes Okay y'all, so it's all dry. It's so time to come off now so I can get the shower. <laughs> Whew. I feel refreshed. Okay, all done helping? Okay, do you wanna put your other little flower in here, honey? You wanna come see it, baby? Mm. Wanna come see the bouquet? Yeah. How does it look? Wait, I see it. Whoa! Cool. Beautiful, right? Yeah. I love it. You, you like to keep it forever? Yes, thanks to Dada, honey. Yeah. Yeah. And my thanks, thanks to you for giving me a little one. You're welcome. And you're gonna give me this one? Yeah, uh, it's a little rip at the top though, baby. Uh-oh. It's okay. And I do these flowers die. Yeah. It's okay, baby. They everything plants die and plants are reborn again. We got some purple and pink carnations. I don't know what these are called, but I also just put them I cut the stems at the bottom and I put them in some water that I already had from my previous plants. And hopefully it gives them some nutrients um, and hope hopefully they last long but I do hate how quick flowers die that's why I, I like plants that actually just last long but they're so pretty hey y'all so it's been a while today is Saturday the 8th and I have not been doing much I've just been tired and I feel like I'm tired of seeing it now that I've been tired, but that's my reality right now. I'm tired. So today, um, I did some laundry. Then I made a meal, you know, cooked some dinner. 
Lyric is having a late night snack right now. She wanted some grilled cheese. And I'm just finna kick my feet up for the rest of the night, to be honest with you. Like, I have not been doing anything. Um, I'm really ready to get my body back. I'm really excited to have the baby and get my body back to where it used to be. Um, I'm just ready to... Like, I'm, I'm ready. That's just how I feel right now. I'm ready, but I'm also tired, so I'm just going through it this is just the reality for right now you feel me it's really not too much going on besides getting prepared for the baby honestly and i have just been trying to catch up on some rest i noticed i've gotten dark spots i've gotten some dark spots around my eyes right here or like all around honestly like my eyes look sunken in almost like a skeleton and i'm like maybe um you know, it's doing me being tired. I need to start going to sleep earlier. And I need to also lower my sugar intake as well. And start drinking way more water than what I've been drinking. Because I've honestly been on like a sugar high. One second. I got to get lyrics uh real cheese. But I've honestly been on like a sugar high. Um, I've been drinking a lot of Dr. Pepper. Like that's just been my thing. All my cravings have jumped from one thing to another. But I feel like it's just been the sweet intake these past couple of days has been off the charts like this week and the previous week it's just been too damn much so i'm trying to get back into the groove of not eating too many sweets um i usually cook at home anyways i don't really get any fast food sometimes i do indulge now i do indulge but for the most part i've just been trying my best to change my overall habits and diet because I can't be walking around with no damn diabetes because I'm sitting here drinking a 12 pack of Dr. Pepper all day. It's just, and I'm not saying I'm drinking it all in one sitting, but it just, if you're drinking too, too much of that stuff too soon, too often, it's just not good for you, honestly. So I realize I need to go to bed a little bit earlier you know, take just to really take care of myself. Um, I'm gonna be tired regardless, but in order to get rid of this stuff, I need to I need to change something. Clearly, I've also been like on the lookout for some ambient lighting. I realize that these overhead lights are just way too bright, especially when the baby comes. I'm not turning these lights on, and you know, babies are up in the middle of the night sometimes, so it's like I'm not turning no big lights on. And I want to start like looking for some nice little lamps, um, some having a room some night lights for like the bathroom and then another little light for the living room i'm also going to probably try and put like a strip light behind the couch that's dimmable so i've just been trying to do my research look for the ones that are actually dimmable and not just you know like that bright white light i want that dim yellow ambient feeling these fluorescent lights are just a little bit too much too bright they give me a headache. I want something dim, something soothing, relaxing. It just gets you into the mood. Like, this is my home, if you know what I mean. You can just really relax. It, the lighting, it, it really does speak for the space. So, I don't want white lights all the time. I do want something a little dim, kind of calming and relaxing. I also failed to mention that I made 35 weeks yesterday so i'm 35 weeks in a day today um and it's really coming down to the wire like i'm really excited to meet my baby and i'm just ready to get this this thing get the ball rolling honestly it's been a long time coming but i feel like this time has really flown by when you really sit and think about it like this time next year we're gonna be in a whole nother set and it's gonna be crazy but it's like time just flies so i'm trying to enjoy the moment while, while it's here you feel me but i'm gonna miss my belly but i'm also really excited to meet my baby that's it y'all i'm honestly gonna end this vlog off here so i can get my shit together i want to thank y'all so much for tuning in you know watching and supporting i appreciate it so much and i'll see you guys in the next video